I think to really understand fear, one must also understand what is pleasure. I think there are the two sides of the same coin. So, what is fear? And can the human mind be ever free from fear? Not only at the conscious level, but at the deeper layers of the hidden layers of the mind. You see, I think first of all, this division between the conscious and, con- and the unconscious is irreal. And fear, physical fear, can be easily be understood and dealt with. Physical forms of fear, darkness, um, danger, um, certain forms of neurosis and so on, easily dealt with. But the fears, the psychological fears, are much more difficult. Because, first of all, we want to escape from them. Escape uh, through various forms of entertainment, whether it's religious entertainment or ordinary entertainment. So, to understand fear, all escape must come to an end. One must be able to look at it. And how you look at it is, is really the vital point. Take fear of death. How do you look at that? Fear of death. You see, fear there implies the ending of what one is and entering into something that one doesn't know. And this fear of the future, that is, tomorrow I might die, is the fear of not having lived a totally complete life. I don't know if I'm convinced. Because we have divided life into death and living. So-called living. And the constant battle. Therefore we try to invent a meaning or give a significance to life intellectually and hold on to that. And so, we, having divided living and dying, thought then postpones death, pushes it further and further and further away. So thought is the origin of fear. If death is to happen, immediately there is no fear. But if it is to happen in ten days' time, then thought begins to think about it, what, what, it ha- what is going to happen, what has been done, whether I will carry my with, m- to heaven my furniture, <laughs> my fortune or my memories, all that breeds fear. Thought is responsible for fear. And so th- thought is also responsible for pleasure. 